Welcome to the neighborhood, YouTube family. Wait, wait, wait. Cut to the beat. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, uh, yeah, man, how you doing? Come on, you good? Come on, I know you like yeah, that. Yeah, you doing? Come on, I know oh, you like that. How long you been back, man? See the girls in the club, they're getting wild for me And all the pretty chicks all wanna smile at me These rap cats, man, they all got this style for me And if I ever see them, man, they probably bow to me And when this beat drop, I know they gon' lean World debut I Hey, what's up? If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face Hi, my name is Mark Please remember to slash that like button And also, please remember to annihilate that subscribe button And hit that post notification bell and also, you guys know I live for the comments down below. But let's just jump straight into these reactions. Let's go! Okay, so before we get into this reaction, huge shout out to... And yes, like the picture says, you guys are the real MVPs. So look, we are going to be getting into Iron Maiden, one of my favorite groups. We are going to be listening to Deja Vu. I cannot wait to hear how this sounds. So... I'm not going to hold y'all. We're not even going to sit here and get into all the pleasantries. We're going to skip the semantics and just jump straight into this reaction. Because we already know what Iron Maiden is. They are bosses. They are kings. And we know that they are about to annihilate this already. So let's get into this. I love that cover art. Ooh, okay. I love how that started. Okay. I love how that guitar is playing because it's as if like he's making love to the guitar like he's becoming one like I feel like the guitar is like in a wedding dress and he is at the altar and he's about to get married to it that's just the imagery that I'm getting from this because I feel like he is living and breathing his guitar I, if, if I had to say so myself I would feel like he goes to sleep and goes to bed with his guitar and kisses it good night that's just like how amazing and enthusiastic I'm getting like from his play so let's jump back into this this is on um, playing at least instrumentally it sounds like almost like a video game it's giving me like very like nintendo or sega and if we want to sit there and take it back and throw it back it's giving me um like uh atari like that type like those types of games like from back in the day before we had playstation and xbox and um nintendo um switch and all that like it's definitely giving me that type of vibe and i don't know if it's giving me like adventure like sonic the hedgehog or like mario brothers type or like almost i'm i could say that i'm getting like a superhero-esque type of vibe like a superhero video game so to speak like a marvel like an old marvel game if that makes sense let's jump back into this <laughs> Okay, sorry. I have to pause it again. I love that I'm really getting like this nostalgic type of vibe because like I, like I said, the song is called Deja Vu. 
um, this by Iron Maiden and it's definitely putting me in a mind frame of like deja vu basically of being in a situation or a place if you actually look up the definition of being in a situation or place that you feel like you've been before and it's definitely putting me in that vibe because like I said it's giving me these vibes of it as if I'm playing Atari or Nintendo or Nintendo or Sega like I feel like I've been in this place where I'm actually like sitting down as a kid and playing a video game of like Sega and playing like Sonic the Hedgehog or playing some type of like Mario from um, Nintendo or I want to say like the old Marvel games like it's very nostalgic and it's giving you this type of vibe where it's like giving you this time travel type of vibe like it's uprooting you from present day and placing you in the past or it's taking you back to a space or place that you feel like you've been before like you're like yo like like if it, like, I can say that has anybody ever had like this feeling where they enter a room and they just sit there and look around and you're like yo I feel like I've been here before like this is the type of vibe this gives me as I'm listening to this song it's, it's giving me that yo I've been here before type of vibe whereas like I was sitting down playing a video game and I feel like that already executed the p main purpose of this track and I'm only 1 minute and 34 seconds in but let's jump back into this <laughs> say I love that how they're sorry for pausing in the middle of the guitar solo but I love how they're playing the guitars and they are actually incorporating that as like they're manipulating the guitar to sound as if it's like a video game a, an action pack like superhero video game I feel like I can picture like superheroes just running down the street like fighting crime trying to save the people who are under siege in their world like that's the type of vibe it's giving me but like I said I do apologize for pausing it, but I do that for copyright reasons but let's get back into this <laughs> he just came on here on his track when he came back he definitely gave me like a villain type of vibe whereas you had like the superhero like the good guy and then you have the villain like he dealt like I would say like spider-man versus venom like it was definitely giving me that type of vibe almost let's get back into this <laughs>
I can say that before I finish this out that this is definitely I, I love I like the song I definitely like it but it's definitely giving me like a filler type of vibe and I'm probably gonna expand more upon that once this song like it ends but it sounds like this is like a filler track let me finish this out <laughs> I like that. It kept my head bobbing, I will say that. Okay, so let's quickly talk about Iron Maiden with Deja Vu. Okay, so let me get back into what I was saying where I definitely felt like, I feel like this is like more of a filler track. I, I say that because this is definitely not Run to the Hills. That track was amazing. Like, that was like my, by far my favorite Iron Maiden track. So when I listen to this, I'm like, okay, it's a good song, don't get me wrong, but it seemed like it was like one of those filler songs, like that's on a CD where you're like, okay, I'm like, because the lyrics, they were good, but they weren't like home run, like hard hitting. I felt like it was, this was more focused on the instrumental side of the genre of the, of the music, if that makes sense. Like I said, I'm not an expert on um, metal and rock and things like that but it's like I'm just speaking like from my experience and what from what I can give my subjective opinion of how I'm feeling and from what I'm feeling this isn't like one of those songs that was like oh okay I'm gonna create the smash and give you not only am I gonna give you bomb vocals and bomb lyrics but I'm also gonna give you bomb instrument play I felt like this was like more of a song that was real reliant and heavy on the instruments and so and less so on the lyrics if that makes sense and I think that that's what laid the foundation for this to be called deja vu because the instrument play is what made me have that recollection of basically manipulating my mind of being like oh I've been here before it wasn't so much the lyrics and what was being said because I feel like the lyrics were simplistic but they were good but they were simplistic and but it's like it was definitely the instrument play that drew me into this track and I thought they did like I said they did a, they do a phenomenal job anyway because they're great at what they do but it just like I feel like this was heavily reliant on that but other than that, it was still a, it was still a good song. I'm definitely still gonna give it a ten out of ten because I mean it's Iron Maiden and it'll be sacrilegious to sit there and give this anything less than that. I'm just saying that for me, it I don't feel like it's one of their it's not their best. Like because to me, Run Run to the Hills to me is still their best song, at least in my opinion. Even though I haven't heard all their music, I've only been re as many of the reactions that I have done is how much music I've listened to of Iron Maiden. So I have to rely on you guys' expertise who are more heavily involved in the genre and also know them as a group uh, as a, uh, and their catalog of, and body of work as my reliance sources of telling me what is their best songs. But at least for me personally, I feel like Run to the Hills tops this. But it's still a good song, but Run to the Hills does definitely still top this for me personally, even though it's still a good song. But I love the vibe of it. Like, I love the nostalgic purpose that it did. It definitely gave me this time travel type of vibe. It took me out of, like, 2020 and placed me back in, like, 1990 or so, or 1992, something like that. And definitely gave me the vibe of, like, when I was a kid of basically playing, um video games like that's the type of deja vu I got like and I could actually like see myself like like yo I've been here before and I definitely like that and they definitely accomplished what they needed to do on this track hence of why it's being called deja vu and Iron Maiden does that all the time so basically that they killed it I thought they did a phenomenal job iron up and with that being said let me know what you thought of Iron Maiden with Deja vu in the comments below. And with that being said, please remember to be safe out there. Remember to stay awesome, be awesome, because you guys are all awesome. This is your boy Mark, and I'm signing off. Deuces. Peace.